Children's Corner. I'm Diana, and I am here with Santa's special helpers at the North Pole with Mrs. and Mr. Wiggett. Don't go away. We have a lot of things to talk about because they're going to tell us all about manners and what makes a season very special and how we can make it even more special. So stay right where you are, and we'll be right back. Yay! Children's yep. Corner! Diana here at the North Pole and you're right we have two very special guests I'm glad you didn't go anywhere and I'd like to introduce them we have Mrs. Wiget and Mr. Wiget yes. thank you so much for being on our show today you're quite welcome I know that you have a very special message that you want to bring to all of our children at home as well as all of our children on the set could you tell us a little bit why you're here today yes we're going to be talking about good manners and we will also be demonstrating the proper use of good manners. That's very important. I know your mom and dad want you all to stay right where you are. Let's talk about good manners. Why is it so important, Mr. Wiget? Well, good manners is a way of showing respect to others and also respect to the, the kids and good, just good way of just demonstrating good manners. Now, up at the North Pole, is it very important to demonstrate good manners in your everyday relations with Santa and the elves? Yes, demonstrating good manners is very important. Why? Why is that so important? What does good manners do when someone demonstrates them? How does it make the other person feel? Demonstrating good manners to others uh, shows the other person that you care what they've done for you or what they've said to you. Uh, their actions, you appreciate that. That's very important. Today, did you want to demonstrate and go through a couple of ways that we at home and here on the set can make life that much more pleasant by having good manners? Uh, yes, we are. We will be demonstrating good manners. Wonderful. Very well. Very well. To begin with, Miss Wicked, I would like for you to sit straight in your chair. What's wrong with the way I'm sitting? Sitting improperly in your chair is not very good on your back. Okay. You should sit up then straight. I'll just sit up, why don't you? Okay. She had very good manners. Sometimes people always say no. But to sit there and be corrected and to get up immediately, that's very nice. And that gives her good posture, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I got a phone call this morning. You got a phone call this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Who did you get a phone call from? A friend of mine. Guess what? What? You want to know how I answered the phone? Oh, how did you answer the phone? Very politely? The phone rang and I said, what? <gasps> no, no, no. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Children, that's not the proper mm -hmm. way to answer the phone. Oh, d it, I, I've always thought what was a bad word. Does anyone else think what's a bad word? What? Well, well it, it's a bad word. If you're going to use the word what, Mr. Wiget, what should we do? Well, using what, it's not proper. The proper way to answer the phone would be, to begin with, you would say hello. And then you would ask who's calling and who would they like to speak to. That's true. Uh -oh. That is true. Well, what? What's wrong with that? That's not being polite to the other person. <laughs> and that's very rude. Sit up. What? Okay. Well, I got it. I got it. What's a bad word? What's if I've ever word? used the word what, I've always done it in a sentence. Like, what did you say? Like, if you got you. God bless you. Are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water? My goodness. That was very impressive. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Miss Wicked, when you're coughing, the proper thing you should do is cover your mouth. I noticed that. You're very good at manners. Thank you. And your point? That wasn't very nice. And your point, please? 
The point is, when you do not cover your mouth, you spread germs. It's very polite to be respectful of others' feelings that they don't get sick. And then sometimes when we sneeze, we can try to make the sound even lighter. So then it's not real rude. Big, loud noises sometimes can be very rude. I just feel so sick. I, I feel so badly that I'm just not doing anything right at all. No, no. That, you know what? That, that's how we learn. We learn because... If you're open to learning to do things right, then you can get by. How about cheering you up with a song? Do you sing? Do you like to sing? Yes. Well, then I think we need Santa's help. And we never know what he's going to sing. But let's find out what he's going to sing. Uh, oh, I think we know this song. And this will cheer not only this week it up, but you at home, too. Do you know the song, kids? Yes. Oh, can you sing it with the kids at home? But you know, thank you so much for the gift. That is, I do that song is a great so much. Gift. gift. And saying thank you when you receive something, especially during this time of year, is very, very important. I saw a great movie yesterday, and I went, we were running kind of late, you know? <laughs> and guess what I did? What? what I did just you do? went right up to the front of the line in front of all those folks, and I saw that movie. It was great. Miss Wiggins, that wasn't polite. Children, can you tell me what she should have done? How about you? Go she ahead. She should have waited in line for movie. Exactly. She should have waited in her turn. Can anyone else tell me? How about you? Well, it would be rude and other people would want to see it. Very good. Because they were being what? The, everyone who's been waiting in line is what is that called? They're being patient. 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 Are you patient at home? Sometimes are you excited to do something that you can't wait to do? And then what happens? You have to learn what, Mr. Weekets? You have to learn patience. You have to wait your turn. It's not polite to jump in front of someone else. That's very good. You have such good I manners. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it already. You know what? You always have something to say about me. I just can't do anything right. But guess what I did the other day? I loved that other day. I was going through the mall shopping for Christmas, buying presents. And you know what? They had a sale going. So I just pushed my way through. Push people out of my way because I wanted to get there and get that radio and I got it. <laughs> I got it. It's wicked. That wasn't a very nice thing to do. Children, can you tell me what she did wrong and what she should have done? How about you? She said, excuse me, I said, I wish everyone. Exactly. What? Very good, Alyssa. Very I should have said, excuse me, yes. instead of pushing. It was my radio. No. no. You didn't show very good manners by pushing and shoving to get up front. If someone's standing in your way, you should say, what's the proper word to say if you want to get by someone? Excuse Children? me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Very good. So the proper thing would have to do would have been to say, excuse me, to get by, to make your way up front. Okay. Sir. Expressing good manners. I guess I should call you sir and call you ma'am. Yes, sir. That would be yes, very ma nice. That would be very nice. And also, when you talk, children, when people talk, should they use this finger? No. 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 When you were telling Mr. Wiggins about something, you never, ever do what? Point. point. Why don't you ever point? 
Yes, it's Jordan. Rude. It's rude. And when you point one finger at someone else, how many are pointing back at you? Three. Three. So that is the thought for the day. Use your manners. It not only makes you feel good, it makes others feel good too. Right? That's correct. All right. We'll be right back. Don't go away. We have lot more, lots more to learn. Welcome back to the Children's Corner. I'm glad you stuck around because right now we're going to have an interactive game. Children, can I have you all stand up? We're going to play, Simon says, with Mrs. and Mr. Weekett. So yes. everyone stand up. Are you good at this game? Uh, yes, I am. All right. We're going to play with the kids at home. So I want all the kids to face all the kids at home. At home, make sure you're facing us. And all right, everyone is going to play together. And Simon says, please tap your head. Simon says, please wiggle your ear. Everybody clap their hands. Simon didn't say. <laughs> this is good. How about you at home? How are you doing? Simon says, please raise your hands. Twirl them in a circle. Go the other way. What are you doing? Simon never said. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am good. How about you? Did you lose it on that one? All right, Simon says, do you have one? Simon says, wiggle your nose. Stop. Jingle bell dance. Jingle all the way. Jingle. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, somebody's jingling. Jingle. Listen to your jingle. Yeah. All right, Simon says, hop on one foot. Simon says, hop on two feet. Simon says, stop. Everyone smile at the kids at home. Simon says, wish them a Merry Christmas. And Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And we should use our manners. Simon says, wave with one hand. Simon says, wave with two. All right, everybody, stop. No, we're still waving. <laughs> Did I get you guys too? <laughs> Simon says, clap your hands. All right, stop. Oh, you all are getting really good. Well, let's give Mr. and Mrs. Wiggett a big hand, a big round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think I would like to hear some questions from the children and ask Mr. and Mrs. Wiggett what it's like to work up at the North Pole. Who has a question? Um, yes? And Ms. you are Alexis, right? All right. Miss Wiggy, is it nice making toys? I love making toys. Yeah. Thank you. I wonder what, any other questions? Uh, Carolina? Um, giving presents to people. Is it nice <laughs> giving presents to people? That's what I love best. I love giving presents. Thank you. Very, very nice. You are learning very well. And Jordan, what is your question? Tell the kids at home what your question is. Do you get to see Santa often? <laughs> yes, we work with Santa every day. Santa walks through the workshop. He's, he sees what's going on, the torch we're building, the presents we're wrapping, and he's packing his sleigh, getting ready for Christmas. And Brooke, do you have a question? No question. Alyssa? How many presents do you make a year? <laughs> Thousands, millions, trillions, and zillions. That's all. Very good. Okay. And we have Maya. Do you make dolls? Mm. That's my specialty. Yes. Mrs. Wiggett, she's very good at making dolls. She's our best. And sometimes we have a little problem with this, but we try to express to her using good manners and making her toys with the other workers. Dolls. I've a lot today, but I make the best dolls, and I'll give you one. Ooh, Ooh. wonderful. We love, anyone here like dolls? Oh my goodness, we have, we have lots of dolls at our house. What's your favorite doll? Um, American Girl. American Girl, do you have one that you like the best? No, because we not Christmas. You're going to get one for Christmas? How about you? I have American Girls. American Girls dolls, do you like that? Uh -huh. Do you have a favorite? 
Which the one? The new American Girl Elizabeth. The new American Girl Elizabeth. Wow, I have not seen her yet. I can't wait. How about you, Alyssa? American Girl Dolls. I, I think this is a, a, a flat out vote. Maya, um, uh, uh, do you have one? Which one? Brett. Brett's? I've never seen them. What are they like? Are they similar to the American Girl? No. Can I whisper something to you? Yeah. I've made a zillion American Girls. You've made a zillion. Well, let's try not to whisper because I'll have to share with them. Miss Wicket said she made a million American Girl dolls. It's not real polite to whisper because that, that's not good manners. Is that good manners? That's to whisper? not good manners. Yes. It would make you feel left right. out. And you know what I just realized I did to you? I interrupted you. I didn't know you had another thought. And I apologize and I am sorry. Could you tell me what, in fact, scooch back right over here, all right? And could you tell the kids at home what you were going to say. I did not mean to interrupt you. It's okay. I have an American Girl doll today. You do? Yes. What kind? It's called American Girl Today. You get to name it. You get to name American Girl doll today any name you want? Yeah. Wow. That is wonderful. Oh, have you been thinking? Do you have a doll for us too? What is your favorite? Tell the kids at home, right over there. Barbie dolls. Barbie dolls! How many of you at home like Barbie dolls? G.I. Joes, Army Men. What other dolls are there? Can anyone name all the different type of dolls there are? Bratz. The Bratz. The American Girl. What else? Made them. Ma you made them? Made I like em. baby dolls and Barbie dolls. And Get that. All different types of oh, dolls, yes. Sorry. Man. It wasn't and my time time to speak. Man. And man dolls? I, I think so. Well, while you're thinking at home, what's your favorite? We will be right back. Don't go away. Here at the Children's Corner. Yay! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell rhyme and jingle bell swing. Dancing and dancing, the la 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 da. That's a jingle bell has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Da 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 That's the jingle bell rock. That's the jingle bell rock. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. La 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 the jingle bell has begun. What a bright time is the right time to ride a night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle bell, pick up your feet. Dan the doll on the way. Dan the doll, the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell rock. Na na na. Children's Corner, and I'm being joined by Tommy Tucker, who's uh, Mr. Wiggett's little helper, who's Mr. Santa's little helper. Uh, where is Mr. Wiggett right now? Uh, right now he's upstairs uh, building the toys for Christmas. Got to get an early start. Okay, so he's too busy to talk to us. Yes. Right? Yeah, we, we hear that a lot. Um, well, that's fine. What are, you, what are you doing? How come you're not working on toys? I'm making sure nobody gets to see the new toys coming out this year. Oh, gotta, gotta stay on guard. So who's uh, who's this little guy here? That's one of Mr. Wiggett's children, actually. Oh, he's very lifelike. His children are very doing away. This is great. So this is uh, what's his name? Trumpy? Yeah, Donald Trumpy. Donald Trumpy. Yes, sir. Looks like him, except for the beard. That's cool. That's cool. These one of the uh, toys that you have to guard people from not seeing. Yeah, but doing a great job of it yeah. so far. I have no one else has seen him yet. That's cool. All right, Mr. Donald Trumpy out there, if you're watching, send money. To us, the the uh, children's corner, and uh, maybe at the North Pole they could use some dough oh, yeah. you know, to make more toys, right? So uh, that was really cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching everybody here at the North Pole with uh, Santa's workshop right upstairs, and and Tommy, thank you very much Not for uh, for coming and <laughs> and watching and uh, talking with us. That was cool. Anytime. All right. Thanks for uh, watching. I'll see you next time. Bye -bye. Welcome back to the children's show. I'm Diana. We are here with Mrs. and Mr. Wiggett. 
They are special helpers for Santa up at the North Pole. And thank you for being our special guests, both of you. And can you tell us a little bit more about all the fun things that go on at the North Pole? Yes, making toys. Uh, there's so many toys that are being made right now. We're preparing for the Christmas holiday, which is coming up. And uh, as Mrs. Wicked said earlier, thousands and thousands, millions of uh, toys are being made to send out to all the children of the world. Do you have a special toy? I'd like to take this time to ask all the kids here what their special toy is, because I know each and every one of us has a favorite. Could we go ahead and start right over here to the right and go right around the room? Name your special toy. Tell all the kids at home what your special toy is. My special toy is a jacuzzi. Your special toy is a what? Jacuzzi. A jacuzzi? I thought she said jacuzzi. That, that sounds wow. like a lot of fun. And how about you? Barbie. Barbie. Uh, Barbie. Barbie. And next we have Carolina. Tell all the kids at home your favorite toy. A Barbie doll. A Barbie, Barbie doll. And Jordan, how about you? It's a stuffed dog, stuffed animal, and Oh, that's really? a very nice that's toy. Nice. And Brooke, how oh, about you? It's a stuffed bear, and uh, it has a shirt, and it says someone in the MP Corps loves me. That is oh, wonderful. That's great. And Alyssa, how about you? My American Girl doll. Your American Girl doll. And we have Maya. Very good. I like, I like teddy bears. You like teddy bears? And those are all the wonderful toys, and I am sure, Mr. Wiggett, is are those some of the toys that you make up at the North Pole? Oh, yes, they are. Those were a lot of toys the kids mentioned. Do, do, do you all make those toys and even more? Uh, I yes. make those. And, you know, sometimes my fingers just get so very tired, but I don't mind because, you know what? I love the fact that when the children open their presents, we get to see all that. You do. Santa has a special thing that he can see all the children and everything you're doing. Did you know that? Well, you know, what about the song? He knows I when know. you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been good or bad. So, so be good for, for goodness sake. Does anyone know that song? Oh, okay. You better watch yeah. out. You, you better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. And you better not cry. And you better not pout. Cause I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Thank you so much for joining in with us. That was great. Kids, do you have any other questions for Mr. and Mrs. Wiggett regarding the holiday season or anything you'd like to ask? Carolina? Um, having fun. Having fun. Is that a question? Are you having fun? Yes, we are. During this time of the year, Christmas, it's all about having fun. Yeah. Well, you've heard our singing Christmas Santa, and we have another special guest. Mr. and Mrs. Wiggett brought somebody special. Who did you bring special? We brought Mr. Tree. Mr. Tree. Children, look at Mr. Tree. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Can you guys sing along? How about you at home? Fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, along the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Not fun, you better not fun. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better not
working on it. We're still working on that one. We haven't worked on that one. What made it turn off? How did you make it turn off, Mr. Wiggles? Well, I just wiggled my nose to make it stop. Is that how you got your name? Yes, we have magical powers, and that's one of the reasons why Santa hotters. He named us. Oh my He goodness. named us and gave us a magical power. Guess what, children? We can make her disappear. You wanna watch yes. and see? Yeah. <laughs> Can you bring her back? Yes, we can. No, why should we? <laughs> you talking about my man? Man? <laughs> I think we should bring her back. The kids want her back. So okay. let's put her out nose. Ow! Yes. That was fun. Did you miss me? Well, no, I, I didn't. Uh, did I, you miss I, me at home? Can we do it again? <laughs> you like that? Yeah, do it again. So like do it that. again. Hello? Who else would like to disappear? How about me. you at home? Would you like? It seems everyone here would like to disappear. So I don't know. Can you do everyone at one time? Yes. Remember, we right. have special powers. Do it together, we have to do right. it together. Together, now. together to all make right. them all disappear. All right, kids, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You're ready to disappear? Yeah. Yeah. On the count okay. of three. On the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh my gosh! Where did they go? <laughs> I, you did them all at once. Yeah, we did. Uh, okay, now, I can't have a show without children. I need my children back for the children's corner. You have to bring them back. No. Yes. Yes, I know you're joking. Oh, wow. Bring them back now. No. Oh, okay. at home. Let's bring Tell them back. Them. Let's bring them back. Two. Let's bring them Three. back. <gasps> Where did you go? Was that fun? Yeah. Did you like disappearing? Yeah. Well, and you two at home. No disappearing on your parents. That gives us a heart attack. But it's so nice to have you back. <laughs> Is it nice to be back? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, thank you so very much. You're welcome. For making us disappear and appear. We've had so much fun today here on the Children's Corner. Mr. and, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Wiggett have this special power. So remember, boys and girls, if each and every one of you are very, very good, they will make a present appear for you. Would you like that? Yeah. yeah. Would you like that at home? Yeah. Remember, be very good, use your manners, yeah. and you will see that a special present will appear. We will see you later here on the Children's Corner, live from the North Pole Ice Cream Shop. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells.